have scientists really solved all the mysteries of the interstellar visitor Oumuamua. For years, this mysterious object that sailed unerringly through our solar system has been a source of endless speculation and fascination. With its unusual shape and inexplicable orbit, Oumuamua raised many questions that could not be answered at first. But now researchers seem to be shedding more and more light on the mysteries. What have they discovered? Did the research lead to a phenomenal breakthrough in the understanding of interstellar phenomena? And more importantly, what do the latest discoveries about Oumuamua's tell us about our situation in the cosmos? When the PANSTARRS-1 telescope in Hawaii reported a previously unknown asteroid on October 19, 2017, there was great excitement. Soon after, it was clear that the new object was unlike anything astronomers had ever seen before and the scientific community knew they had stumbled upon something truly extraordinary. The object, which was identified as the first interstellar flying object shortly after its discovery, proved to be stranger and stranger. Researchers named the flying object Oumuamua, which means a messenger from far away that arrives first in Hawaiian. Oumuamua's discovery caused a wave of excitement and curiosity. This visitor defied all the rules of astronomy and for the first time offered opportunities to gain deeper insights into the processes of interstellar space. Oumuamua confronted scientists with a whole series of puzzles, starting with its unusual shape. Observations indicated that the object was unusually long and narrow in shape, similar to a cigar or even a needle. Longer than wide is a shape that is not usually found in asteroids and comets at least not in this form. This unique shape and other strange characteristics led to much speculation about Oumuamua's true origins and whether the object posed a threat. Some scientists have suggested that the unusual shape could be the result of the object's long interstellar journey, during which it may have acquired its oddly long shape through collisions with other objects or some kind of erosion. It is possible that Oumuamua is just a fragment of a much larger object and the forces of the collision, which may have occurred somewhere far away from our solar system, could also explain why this thing was traveling so fast. It is not a comet or an interstellar asteroid. It was unbelievable what the researchers had to observe with their own eyes for weeks. Oumuamua raced across our solar system at a sensational 315,000 kilometers per hour a speed that made it clear that this object definitely did not come from our solar system. The fastest asteroids we know of reach speeds of around 70,000 km per hour, and they only get a little faster when they are close to the Sun and are accelerated by its gravitational pull. In the further course of its orbit, Oumuamua also came close to the Sun, so that its speed and trajectory were also influenced by the gravitational force of our star. However, Oumuamua behaved close to the Sun in a way that is not compatible with our knowledge of astrophysics. When Oumuamua reached its closest point to the Sun, scientists expected its orbit to be affected by the Sun's gravity in a predictable way. Researchers have now observed dozens of asteroids and comets that are attracted to the Sun, and they have, of course, studied the orbits of these objects in detail. Surprisingly, Oumuamua showed a strange deviation from the standards of comet or asteroid trajectories that the change of course could never be explained by gravitational forces alone. There had to be an additional non-gravitational force acting on Oumuamua. But where was this force and where did it come from? One plausible explanation would be the release of gases as is typical for comets. When these chunks of ice and dust are heated by the proximity of the Sun, ice sublimates into a gaseous state. For a short time, there was renewed talk that Oumuamua could be a comet after all, albeit a strange one. The theory was soon dismissed, as this object showed no signs of emitting gas. The acceleration, without producing any visible traces such as a tail or coma, as well as the lack of visible signs of outgassing, made this first visitor from a different world an even greater mystery. Some researchers have suggested that Oumuamua could be a very porous material that allows the vaporization of frozen gases inside without producing a traditional comet tail. These internal gas emissions could well be sufficient to explain the observed orbital deviation. For most scientists, however, 
This answer was too contrived. It was at this point in a story of a messenger from an alien world that rumors first arose that Oumuamua might possess some kind of mysterious control or propulsion system. A tumbling fragment of an exoplanet? Who would have thought that one day a chunk from an exoplanet might fly directly into our solar system? If the theories of Amir Siraj and Avi Loeb from Harvard University are to be believed, Oumuamua is a fragment of a collision that took place somewhere in a distant star system. Oumuamua could have been blown off a dwarf planet in a gigantic explosion. This would explain the strange orbit and the wobbling. Normally, all known asteroids and comets rotate, but Oumuamua wobbles in a way that scientists have never before observed in an asteroid or a comet. Siraj and Loeb speculated that Oumuamua could be part of a larger planet that has been destroyed in its home star system or broken into smaller pieces by collisions with other objects. If this is true, this visitor would be a unique opportunity to study part of an exoplanet. Avi Loeb presented a whole range of possible explanations for the true nature of Oumuamua, and the Harvard scientist was one of the first to say out loud that we must also consider an extraterrestrial spaceship or probe. In particular, the elongated cigar-like shape and the inexplicable acceleration of the object as it moved away from the sun could be important clues for this theory. Loeb speculates that a light sail powered by solar radiation could explain the unusual acceleration. However, this sail would have to be pretty thin and would be a clear indication of a technology. Measurements that showed that Oumuamua is metallic on the inside and looks like a polished stone on the outside strengthen the evidence in favor of a technological origin. It is possible that Oumuamua is a perfectly camouflaged probe from an extraterrestrial civilization. This was taken very seriously, and NASA made several attempts to contact Oumuamua by radio. However, the object itself did not emit any perceptible radiation and did not respond to contact attempts. UFO researchers and friends of the paranormal naturally had to think of dozens of sightings of strange flying objects that had the same strange long shape or on closer inspection were disc-shaped. In fact, it is possible that Oumuamua is actually a wobbling disc and only appears to us like a cigar due to its strange movement. The measurements revealed the possibility of a disc very early on. This fueled the ideas of UFOs. In 1954, Italian soccer fans saw a whole series of unexplained flying objects above the soccer stadium in Florence. At the time, hundreds of eyewitnesses described objects that sometimes looked like cigars and sometimes like a disc. However, these objects were also described as clearly metallic and shiny silver. Oumuamua remains a cosmic enigma. What do you think now? Do any of these explanations really make sense to you? You're probably like the scientists. Many of these explanations sound plausible, others exciting or even adventurous. But they are not entirely certain until we have seen the object with our own eyes. During its flyby, Oumuamua was extremely difficult to study. Due to its thin shape, the presumably black or dark red color, and the absence of any vapor or radiation, the object was extremely difficult to observe. Panstars 1 only reported the alien visitor when it had already whizzed past the Earth at breakneck speed. If Oumuamua had been on a collision course with the Earth, we would have been in for a nasty surprise. It is quite possible that we would have only noticed it shortly before an impact. That would have been fatal, because with a length of about one kilometer and its enormous speed, Oumuamua could easily cause a global catastrophe on Earth. On the one hand, we can therefore be reassured that the visitor from the alien world flew away as quickly as it arrived. Oumuamua will unerringly fly out of the solar system and will not return, if it is a natural object. But we don't know for sure when a projectile of this size and strange nature will appear again, and whether the next visit by an interstellar and difficult-to-spot flying object will be as harmless. Some researchers are of the opinion that we should be happy that Oumuamua posed no threat and just let it fly. Other scientists believe that we absolutely must find out Oumuamua's true identity 
precisely so we can protect ourselves better in the future. The rumors about a spaceship or a probe are not yet completely off the table. It is therefore not surprising that this flying object has reignited the debate surrounding the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Some researchers are of the opinion that projects that randomly send our greetings or radio messages into space are dangerous. We don't know who we are attracting attention to. Does a little shiver run down your spine now? Although experts believe there is little chance that Oumuamua really is concealing technology, we should still be careful. NASA would like to send a probe after Oumuamua. The probe will come. Do you also think that a probe to Oumuamua would take precedence over all other NASA projects? Researcher Avi Loeb is certain that it would be worth the effort. The mysteriousness of the object alone should be a reason to pursue it. The challenges of such a mission have not yet been fully overcome. For a mission to Oumuamua, a probe would have to be developed that can travel much faster than the fastest spacecraft currently available. This would be an incentive for the development of completely new propulsion systems. Some clever minds are already working on the realization and the concepts presented so far range from the use of light sails, which are powered by powerful lasers from Earth, to completely new propulsion systems, all of which are still in the theoretical phase. You may already be familiar with the light sail idea from the concepts of the Breakthrough Starshot project, which plans to send extremely fast nano spaceships to our neighboring star system, Proxima Centauri, in just a few years. The mini spacecraft are intended to find out whether there really are Earth-like planets and creatures there. In practice, the mini probes would be propelled by a powerful laser beam directed at an extremely thin and light sail. If this works in practice, the mini probes could reach a fraction of the speed of light. Now it's time to hit the subscribe button. More exciting videos are coming all the time.